Hi everyone, my name is Wesley and I'm the Tournament Director of the Surefire Trading Challenge. I'm privileged to have with me today Wazim Zaire, who is a former winner of the Surefire Trading Competition. Welcome Wazim and uh, thank you for joining me today. Hello Wesley, thank you for having me here with you. Wazim, there are many traders um, who haven't heard you speak before. Uh, can you tell us a little bit more about yourself, like where are you from and what you do for a living? Yes, uh, I uh, was born and grew up uh, in Israel and uh, my profession uh, originally I studied in the University Electrical uh, Engineering and I have been working uh, in this profession for uh, the last four years. Um, I started uh, several uh, part-time jobs uh, during the two three years uh, and the trading was one of them. Okay. So, uh, and yeah, I, I, what I was uh, saying that uh, I, my profession was uh, an electrical engineer and uh, I uh, was involved in uh, several uh, part-time jobs uh, that uh, I tried uh, to, to do uh, besides my work. Okay. And uh, can you tell us a little bit about how you started trading and how you got into the, the trading challenge? Well, my, the first uh, time I heard about the Forex market was uh, uh, in an uh, internet ad. I think it was an uh, adver advertisement for uh, a broker and uh, I called uh, the telephone number and said uh, what is it about you you are saying that you can do a lot of money in, uh, in no time and uh, uh, what is it I want to know what is it uh, about and they started to uh, tell me uh, all about uh, uh, how people can trade their money how can you treat uh, money as a product uh, itself mm -hmm. and uh, I started to learn about it uh, more. Uh, also, in that time, I was uh, a student in the university, so I also uh, went to uh, lectures in the uh, business department and tried to understand what's uh, uh, all the not only the forex but uh, all the commodities and the uh, uh, stock market uh, and trading basically. And uh, I started uh, my uh, at that time I I was a very fresh. Uh, uh, in, in my work, in my current work, so uh, uh, I had the opportunity for the first time to uh, make my first investment and uh, luckily I, uh, I had it right from the first time. So uh, this was, this was uh, the first time I heard about Forex. You were only trading for about six months at the time uh, when you entered the previous competition. What was the, what was the experience like? Well, the challenge was very amazing for me. It gave me a very uh, big boost of uh, energy and motivation to uh, to enter this amazing uh, world. Of uh, you know, it's, it's a lot of uh, it was a lot of uh, adrenaline for me, mm -hmm. uh, especially for uh, the first time. It was the first time that I compete with other people and the first time I trade. Uh, so uh, it was. Uh, uh, a very full experience for me. I I uh, I didn't have anything like it before. And um, for those that may not be aware of it, uh, can you please remind us what your results in the competition were like? Well, yes. Um, I th the the competition back then was a little bit uh, different, so we had one month to to trade. And in one month, uh, I had uh, just over 1,300% uh, uh, in gain, and uh, that's in a live uh, account. Uh, something like this, 1,300, I think, a little bit uh, above. That's, re that's remarkable. At, and at the time, you'd only been trading for a little over six months, yet you were trading on a live account and you were making consistent profit. Did you find instant success as a trader? Well, if, if we look at the first six months only that uh, of course I can't argue that these are very remarkable result, results Wesley especially that uh, I didn't uh, at first I only used a demo account for a couple of weeks if any and uh, I saw that uh, uh, I can make fast decisions and uh, as a result make uh, fast money so I switched to a uh, live account and uh, um, uh, if I look at uh, only the first six months of my trading experience, then I, I can say that that yes, I had an instant success, uh, but that uh, I learned from it uh, yeah. uh, 
uh, also uh, uh, after wise uh, this instant success experience uh, was uh, a very good uh, lesson for me for uh, for later okay and looking back on it now um, how did you manage to get to that stage so quickly I mean a lot of people struggle with the learning and struggle with finding a method or finding techniques at work how did you get to that stage so yeah, quickly well, man, many people Many people also in the forum ask me the same question, uh, but uh, I don't think that uh, the the success in the first six months was uh, something that uh, would have gone in the long term, because um, uh, in my first months of trading, I I traded like crazy. I I wasn't uh, really um, I wasn't professional, of course, and uh, I had uh, this uh, strategy that uh, I used very successful. However, I I did a very uh, bad, very bad mistakes. Uh, for example, I I used a very high leverage, and I didn't uh, know exactly what money management means. So uh, this mistake, uh, mistakes combination, had uh, made me alive, uh, had made me uh, reach very fast. but it wasn't very good in the uh, long run and uh, gradually with time during my first year or first two years I understood that this is not uh, the way to go if I am uh, if I intend to take a trading the trading uh, as a profession okay, I need to be more relaxed and and understand more what I'm doing and of course manage my uh, money and psychology uh, more correctly and more why Okay, and there are a lot of traders out there that struggle to get to that point where they can trade with uh, with confidence. What do you think has been the most important factors that have helped you get to this point uh, so quickly? Well, I, I, as I said, looking back, not only at uh, the first uh, start, the first six months start, but uh, along all the last three, four years. Uh, I think the the most important factor in trading, not only in forex, uh, is the the trading psychology. I like to call it trading psychology, which also includes money management and most importantly, feelings uh, management. I mean, after all, all the people, all most of the volume in the market uh, are made by people trading uh, commodities or people trading money or people trading whatever. But uh, at the end of the day, it's people who are uh, making the drive of this uh, market so people uh, you, you cannot uh, distinguish people and uh, from uh, feelings and uh, I think the name of the game here is um, of course to learn the strategies and learn uh, the graphs and learn the indicators but most importantly to integrate a healthy um, uh, healthy habits of controlling your feelings and uh, uh, controlling uh, the money management you are using which mostly is uh, is not only you know technical but uh, also you have to have uh, the right attitude for uh, for uh, uh, this journey that's right and I think you've mentioned already uh, what your approach was when you first started uh, how has it evolved since then how has it changed yeah well at first it was an aggressive approach. Uh, I, I took all the opportunities I saw in the market with large leverage and uh, uh, I didn't really uh, pay attention for margins or something like that. Um, but uh, uh, during the first year I, I learned, I started to experience the losses, the other side of yeah. the coin. Of course, you cannot ignore, there is always the, the, second, uh, uh, the second side. I mean, if you want to experience uh, 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 great uh, uh, profits then you have also to experience great losses uh, it's uh, it's um, it's a combined game you, you can't uh, win all the time you have to lose in order to uh, get uh, to to the winning point so my uh, my attitudes has uh, changed since then by uh, 
uh, of course, managing more wisely uh, the money, leveraging uh, a little bit, and only uh, risking what I can afford to risk, and not risking uh, uh, tens of tens of percents of uh, my account. And that's what uh, happened when I first started, and uh, it uh, it went very well. But uh, like I said, it uh, wasn't uh, suitable for the long run. Okay, and after the competition, you spent a lot of time coaching other traders and teaching other traders about new methods you were experimenting with at the time. What was that experience like? Well, uh, you know me, Wesley. I've I've always <laughs> been uh, excited and uh, very um, uh, education has always been very enjoyable yeah. for me. I love to. I love to uh, teach people what I know and what I understand, especially the things that I think that I understand very deeply and from the basics. Uh, and uh, it was uh, also a very uh, good experience for me because I learned a lot from uh, from teaching people. Whenever I had something to uh, say in the webinar, I had a lot of time beforehand and making sure that I understand it very, very well because I, I felt it's a very uh, big responsibility, you know, to just, you can't just say something in a webinar and yeah, run away. Yeah. You have to uh, say the th your things and back up it with professional That's right, uh, yeah. explanation. Not only the, the, the one complaining uh, uh, something is one thing, but also uh, uh, referencing uh, other uh, you know websites or other material is is another thing, and it mm. has uh, a lot uh, to do with learning yourself before. That's right. Yeah. Uh, being able to teach it, so it was a very useful uh, experience for me, and I enjoyed it very very much. Excellent. And now the format of the competition has changed a bit from from the pre from the pre uh, previous events and when you were involved. What have you made of uh, of that change? Well, I think that uh, it changed for uh, for the better. Uh, people uh, in uh, back when I went uh, in the competition, um, you had only one stage, and uh, and now having two stages, uh, I mean the winner in a competition of two stages is uh, likely most likely to be the real winner and the real deal. Uh, than uh, winning in a, a one-stage uh, competition. I mean, in, in one-stage competition, uh, you have a short time and uh, you, you can prove that uh, you were best in uh, one stage. And mm. uh, that's nothing like proving yourself twice in a row. Yeah. And proving yourself that uh, I can not only uh, take uh, the uh, first 20, but I also can win uh, competing with the best 20. Again, right. so uh, yeah. I think that uh, this uh, new strategy, new method, will uh, give us uh, a higher quality uh, results and higher quality people to learn. Yeah, exactly right. You weren't able to participate in this competition, uh, being a former winner, but you had a look at the leaderboard, and were you surprised with the results we were seeing? Well, uh, actually, I I think that uh, with time, uh, just like in any other field, uh, also in science, in sports, in finance, with time, when uh, one uh, one person does something and uh, he or she breaks, uh, uh, you know, breaks, uh, makes a new record. Then after uh, him or her, people start grasping and understanding yeah. that it is possible and uh, yeah. someone has already done it. So uh, if someone could do it, then I can do it. And uh, you, you will see that uh, many people will uh, follow uh, better and better uh, results with time. So uh, I, I wouldn't be any surprised to see people uh, having a lot of uh, good results and even better results than in previous competitions. And I think it's uh, something that uh, goes up there in time. Excellent. And um, a lot of people may not know this, or 
well, they should be if they read the rules, but in order to win the competition, you need to be able to fully disclose your, your trading method. And I remember that you, that you were amongst um, the traders that produced some of the best materials. We used it in all the training materials and everything because it was so good. You know, we wanted everybody to sort of produce materials like that. Um, you know, you, you were working a full-time job at the time but you still manage to produce those materials. Do you have any tips uh, for the current batch of uh, competitors that's uh, going to face this uh, same hurdle in the next round? Actually, uh, I think what uh, stood in my side uh, is that I was a really a real newbie and uh, I, I wasn't, yeah. uh, I didn't understand uh, many of the basic indicators and I didn't even uh, use any moving averages in my strategy. and. Uh, that's because I, I thought that the, these stuff are for the professional people and for the advanced people and I can't really master it uh, in, in a short period of time. Mm -hmm. So what I've done is uh, to take only the graphs, only the candlesticks and try to uh, master the basics. And I think this is, this is the key for success in every field. If you master the, basic and, and the basics and understand exactly 1,000% what you are doing, then you can uh, not only understand it yourself, but deliver it to the others sure. very, very uh, fast and in uh, high quality. Uh, back in the time, like you said, I was working uh, full time. Uh, so uh, I took uh, one day off. Uh, the work and um, I recorded all the videos and uh, wrote uh, all the uh, PDFs uh, required uh, only in uh, one day or something like that. Uh, and uh, I think the reason that uh, I could be able to do it because I understood very, very well what I am doing. And yeah. uh, I didn't uh, put there anything that uh, I was half understood, half understanding, half not. So, uh, like I said, I mastered the very basics, and that's exactly what uh, I am. Uh, uh, I try to tell everyone who asks that if you want to succeed in something, master the very uh, uh, first thing. I mean, first thing first. If you if you are if you want to succeed in mathematics mathematics then you must understand uh, you not, must know uh, to count from 1 to 10 even <coughs> blindfolded and uh, yeah that's my that's the philosophy I think that uh, helped me uh, do a, a good job back then it's actually become a lot easier <laughs> for the guys since then so it's much everything's done on the website so uh, we'll, we'll see we'll see how it goes this time around I'll let you know Good luck. Uh, <laughs> having experienced the pressure um, of being in head-to-head -head competition um, like this before, what advice can you offer to the traders that are currently doing well at the stage or even those that are not doing so well at the stage? Well, for those who are already in the competition, regardless of uh, you know where you stand now in the leaderboard, uh, I think that you, you have to give yourself some credit uh, for already being there because uh, anyone who is participating in uh, the challenge uh, he or she is actually competing with the best trade traders uh, on the web okay uh, so first thing give yourself some credit and uh, this will make you this will help you also relax and uh, you know relieve the stress the stress of the competition and the stress stress of uh, following up uh, the, in the leaderboard. Uh, the second thing uh, I say uh, that um, if you are already in a high position then uh, think wisely before you make any uh, further steps, any further, I mean the, the next time you want to make uh, open a position uh, you want to think first if this, uh, if this decision is uh, is made because you want to advance in the leaderboard or because you really think it's a good opportunity. And if your answer was uh, because I want to advance in the leaderboard, then you might want to think twice about it mm -hmm. because you don't want uh, to interfere any fast decisions which uh, are not based on uh, professional and technical uh, 
impacts that are only based on your feelings and your desire to uh, uh, to win the market and uh, win uh, uh, the others. So be careful. Uh, sometimes feelings. I think most of the time, the problem of the mo of most of the people is that feelings uh, uh, fool us and uh, they lead us in in, uh, in the wrong way. So uh, think twice or even three, four, five times before you make any decision and try to neutralize your feelings and your uh, desire to be to see your name in the first place. Awesome. Um, there are a lot of traders out there that suffer a loss, call it quits, um, or they just keep bouncing from one holy grail system to the next. Uh, from your own experience, do you have any advice for traders that are currently struggling and are going through this right now? Well, I think uh, whether your experience is good or bad, uh, the experience itself uh, is not the important thing. What you learn from it is the, uh, the, the old story. Uh, and I think learning from your experience, especially if it was bad, is not, uh, is not uh, one thing to do, but it's, it's a journey that uh, uh, <coughs> spreads over time. And you have to give yourself uh, uh, some time to really grasp and uh, really think about what you have uh, uh, been through. Um, I think uh, that uh, whoever uh, jumps from one strategy to another or, you know, quit uh, at uh, the first uh, loss, it doesn't really understand the, the game of trading. And uh, the game of trading is, is actually the same thing like the game of life or the game of anything else. Uh, you have to be patient and uh, if you look carefully, you will, uh, by no exception, uh, see that those who reach the high, the very highest peaks are actually those who uh, did not quit in, uh, on the way. And uh, as I said, uh, going to success is, is a journey. And uh, in, in this journey, like in every journey, you, have, uh, you are to face many obstacles. And the, the biggest the obstacles you face, the stronger and uh, the, you know, the stronger mentally and physically you yeah. become. So don't be afraid of losses. Losses is only part of the game. It's just that sometimes losses have to come first in order to, you know, to remove many paradigms that we have or many, uh, many um, uh, fir wrong first impressions that we had. Uh, and uh, I mean, the internet and you know advertisements in the industry doesn't help with that. They tell you that mm. uh, come uh, be a millionaire in one week or something like this. <laughs> And uh, I mean, uh, even if some people uh, do succeed uh, this uh, this way and uh, that fast, uh, you have to understand that uh, uh, it's like growing up. You have to grow up in the business, and you have to grow yeah. up in uh, in this mentality. And uh, uh, I just uh, can tell you that. Uh, uh, if you think that uh, losses are uh, bad, especially in the beginning, then uh, you are wrong. Losses are actually a good uh, teacher, and uh, you have you, your responsibility is to uh, take action and learn from your losses. Okay, uh, I think that's it. That's Excellent. You're you're starting a new venture these days. Um, can you tell us a little bit more about what you're getting up to? Yes, well, uh, now, uh, just last week, I stopped working uh, in, as an electrical engineer, and uh, now I'm uh, you know, uh, exploring some uh, new ventures. I'm starting an uh, internet-based uh, uh, business, and uh, you know, it will be online in the next three or four weeks, so uh, I don't uh, really have much to show you right now. However, for those who are interested, uh, you know, to know better or to know to talk with me about it or about anything uh, about forex, then they are you are mo more than welcome to meet me in the uh, Trading Secret Library forum, or you can.
can search me even in Facebook if you want and send me a message or add me as a friend. And uh, yeah, I, I would be more than happy to get uh, to know like-minded people and uh, people that are focused on uh, their success and they want to uh, uh, learn how to, how to get there and how to get there to what uh, they want. So feel free to contact me. Excellent. Wasim, it's been an absolute pleasure speaking with you today. Thank you very much for, for joining us, uh, for taking the time out to chat with me. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Wesley. I'm very privileged to, to be uh, in uh, this interview today. <laughs> Always good talking to you, Wasim. Um, thanks to my guest, Wasim. It's been a pleasure speaking with you. Um, all the best with your new venture. And I hope, to, hope that you'll keep in touch and we'll, we'll get to chat again soon. We will. <laughs> Excellent. That's all we have time for today, folks. Um, for ShofiTrainChallenge.com. Uh, thanks to my guest, Wasim Zahir. Uh, you can catch up with him on Facebook or you can catch up with him in the Trader Secret Library. Uh, my name is Wesley. Thanks for listening. Excellent.